Hey, what is up, guys? Computer Mammon here, and welcome back to a new tutorial video. And in this tutorial video today, I'm going to show you how to make your screen uh, a darker color, basically darker than your lower brightness setting on your computer. So basically, uh, this is just used um, to stop you from getting eye strain or headache by looking at a really bright screen, say in darkness or in really bad lighted rooms. So basically, I'm going to show you an example now. If I go to start computer, as you can see. This whole page is white. If you were looking at this in pure darkness uh, for a long while, you'd probably get a headache or eye strain, uh, possibly if you are very vulnerable to those types of um, things. So I'm going to show you how to change it. So this part should, this whole white background should just go black, and the text will go white. You know, kind of like a like as inverted sort of colours. But basically, what you're going to want to do first is hold left alt hold left shift and click print screen and then it will say this message so in this message it says do you want to turn on high contrast so high contrast improves readability of the display by apply applying a special system color scheme so I'm just gonna hit the yes button now and then it will come with this dialog box saying please wait and there we go, once it's done, as you can see, uh, my background has now been removed. Um, and then if we go to start computer, as you can see, I have this pure black background, which is a lot easier and less strainful on my eyes and um, less strainful like if you're getting a headache and whatnot. And the text comes out yellow, so it definitely makes the text a lot easier to see and read. Um, for me, I don't really like that much because it kind of, but it does bring back the, it kind of brings back the old, um, what's it, Windows XP styled sort of thing, which isn't bad, but it's just that I prefer the Windows 7 one. So basically, if this message, if that message did not come up for you, about the high contrast theme, the little pop-up message that came up that I zoomed in on to show you about, if that didn't, didn't come up, then it's because your feature has been disabled. So basically, to enable it, just go down to the start bar. Okay guys, so once you get into the start bar, basically what you're going to want to do is just click on all programs. Then you're going to want to go down to the folder called accessories. Scroll down again, go down to ease of access folder. And then just click on the ease of access center. Okay guys, so once you are on the ease of access center, basically you're just going to want to go down to this option where it says make a computer easier to see. Just click on this little heading and then you should come up with it and then the first box should come up with this. So guys this is the uh, setting part here for the high contrast which I showed you about. So basically uh, on the choose a high contrast theme make sure that this text box is clicked or else the shortcut will not work and you'll have to go through it the long way. Uh, you can display a warning when turning the setting on or you can have the text box checked for make a sound uh, when it is turning on. Okay guys, so what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to change my theme back to uh, normal. Taking a while, there we go. So as you can see now, I have the really bright b uh, background black back. And as you can see, once you do it, you will get your wallpaper back. So don't worry if once you do change to the dark theme that you think, oh no, where's my wallpaper gone? Don't worry, it, when you do the shortcut, the left alt, left shift and print screen the wallpaper will come straight back up well should do I have experienced a glitch one or two times where my wallpaper has actually disappeared and not come back on but that's only one or two times um yes yeah, so that's basically it really so I hope you guys have enjoyed this uh, tutorial video I hope this guy has helped you out with your eye strain or headache problems or whatever and yeah I'll see you guys in my next video goodbye